A federal way man now faces a formal charge of threatening to kill President Obama. Tonight we have the email which triggered a Secret Service visit and know more about the man locked up on federal charges. King 5's Chris Daniels is live at the federal courthouse where the suspect made his first appearance since the arrest. Chris. Yeah, Lori, the new details make it appear that this was a closer call for police than it ever was for the president after the Secret Service responded to a threat and came face to face with a man with an arsenal full of weapons, prompting a scare for everyone nearby. We moved here five years ago. And Beverly Tafuli we love this place. says she never noticed her neighbor and what police say was going on inside his apartment. Not knowing things were happening under our noses. But her dog had plenty to bark about yesterday yeah. when federal prosecutors say Anton Kalori emailed the FBI and wrote, quote, I will kill the president. I don't give an expletive, but you know that. Get here now. So a Secret Service agent and Federal Way police officer knocked on his door a couple hours later and say the 31-year-old man living with his mother pulled a shotgun. The officer grabbed the gun before a shot was fired and arrested him. Federal agents say during a search of Kalori's apartment near this children's playground, they found a marijuana grow operation and multiple guns, a loaded AK-47 in the kitchen, loaded 45 caliber pistol near the door, AR-15 rifle under a bed, and hundreds of rounds of ammo. I feel helpless. Tafuli is shocked by it all. It's very, very scary. I mean, we live in a crazy world nowadays. But relieved, the man from Federal Way is likely facing federal prison. Prosecutors also say that Kalori was a Navy veteran and a, quote, known hothead to police. Prosecutors say he could face up to five years in federal prison for the threat against the president and up to 20 years in, pr in prison for the assault on a federal officer. That is the story for now live at Seattle's federal courthouse. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.